Hello everyone, it is Sunday morning and today I'm going to make pancakes. I'm going to be making a cornmeal and almond flour pancake. I love cornbread cornmeal, so that's why I really love this recipe. It's simple, fast, a few ingredients. The first thing I'm going to be using will be, you'll need some yellow cornmeal. We'll also need some almond flour, and this is super fine, works best for this recipe. Soy milk. I prefer soy milk to almond or cashew because it's a, it has a little more fat in it and the recipe comes out a little better. Baking powder. A dash of salt. Now, depending who I am making this for, I will use an egg. If they're meat eaters and they're not vegan, I'm going to use an egg because the texture is more what they're familiar with. So it would be one egg. Or you can use a little bit of pumpkin or you could just skip it all together, which I do quite a bit. So the first thing I'm going to do, and this is gonna make about three to four pancakes, depending on the size. I have here a half a cup of the cornmeal, which I'm gonna put in my bowl. I also have here a half a cup of the almond meal. Then I'm gonna measure out a teaspoon of baking powder. And I'm just gonna do a pinch of salt. We're just gonna combine all these ingredients right here. Now today, I'm not going to add the egg. I don't think it needs it. These are just for me. And I have here my cup of soy milk. And the reason why I think I can get away with not using the egg is because I'm using soy milk. So there's already some fat in there. And we're just gonna combine these ingredients. Like that. And just the way you would any pancake batter Leave it a little lumpy, works the best. It's just gonna heat your skillet. You can use some butter or vegan butter. Or if you want, if you have a good skillet that's non-stick, you can put it right there in the pan if you don't wanna use any oils. And that is pretty much it. This is, it's the texture. It is cornmeal, so it's gonna have a little bit of that corn muffin texture but it's delicious. I will show you what they look like. Okay, so I put some butter in the pan and you wanna wait till your pan is nice and hot so the pancake does not stick. Cause this is not the traditional pancake so it has the tendency to stick a little. So once it get nice and hot, I'm gonna pour in my first pancake. Now, this recipe will give you about 12 grams of protein. So this is a good amount of protein, and that's just with the almond flour. I think if I factor in the soy milk, it would be about 15 grams. So we're just going to wait. So when the pancakes gets all the little bubbles, that's how you know it's about ready to flip. Just like a traditional pancake. We're going to go in and flip. So I flipped it and you see how all the edges got nice and crispy. Of course, that's because I have butter, um, but it will still come out nice if you just want to use your nonstick pan. Here they go. It made three pretty large pancakes. So I'm going to pour some pure maple syrup on them. Like that, just a little bit. 
And that's gonna be my breakfast. Like I said, it's about 15 grams of protein. And if you wanted to make this lower in fat, you just don't use the butter to fry it in and it'll still come out delicious. I hope everybody enjoyed. Let me know if you try this recipe what you think. Like and subscribe. I will see you next time.